to win, you need to adapt. And to adapt, you need to be able to laugh away all the restraints, everything holding you back. You see, a Batman who laughs is a Batman who always wins. Here's your look at the new Diamond Select, the Batman Who Laughs gallery statue. On another Earth, part of the dark multiverse, an all-out attack by the Joker killed thousands, and Batman was driven to his breaking point, killing his greatest enemy. As the Joker died, an unknown toxin was released, poisoning Batman and eroding his morality even as it preserved his intellect. Transformed into a murderous madman, Batman killed all of his friends and comrades in the Justice League and devastated his world until he and his Dark Robins were all that was left. Recruited by Barbados, um, an immortal destroyer of worlds, the Batman Who Laughs gathered evil versions of Batman from across the dark multiverse, planning to evade the positive multiverse, kill its heroes, and claim it for Barbados. This PVC diorama of the Man Who Laughs is based on his appearance in Dark Knight's Metal from DC Comics. It is cast in high-quality plastic and features collectible quality paint applications. Are you ready for this review? I'm certainly ready for this review. Been a big fan of Batman Who Laughs, and this is such a spectacular looking statue, but don't wanna get ahead of ourselves. No, no way, no, no how. Before we do anything, I gotta tell you, it's my job, it's my responsibility as a reviewer to tell you guys, the members of the mob, how exactly tall is the Batman Who Laughs? And the answer to that, according to my digital friend here, is about 10 inches in height. Somebody yells in the back, you're a fibber face. I am a fibber face. It's not. 10 inches, it's about 10 inches, 9.6 to be exact. In centimeters, that works out to be, if I can, if I may, 24 and a half, 24 and a half centimeters tall. Short of the Dark Robins not being included in this statue release, quite the spectacular sight Diamond Select has crafted here in PVC plastic. Yes, I certainly would say the Batman Who Laughs is one of the best things, one of the best things that have happened to comics in the last decade or less. This is sort of my stepping point as to one of my favorite characters that have been introduced to Batman among the so familiar rogues gallery. Sort of the same feeling that I had when Bane first made his introduction, and of course the subsequent breaking of the Bat during Nightfall. It's sort of the same impact that the Batman who has laughed, Batman who laughs, has impacted me now seeing him in the comics. I absolutely adore, and adore is such a, such a diminished value of uh, personal opinion. I really love the design of Batman Who Laughs. And getting a close-up look at this particular statue, unfortunately, like I said, the the Dark Robins are not included in this release. Maybe down the road, uh, Diamond Select may entertain the idea of giving us a uh, Batman Who Laughs that actually has the Robins included with him. But standing atop, I guess we can start our way with the base, kind of work our way up. That's as good place as any. 
He is standing atop of rubble. I'm sure something that he has desecrated and destroyed. He is now standing atop of quite proudly, I might add. I like actually the stance, for starters, that he is actually in. I like the fact that he's got the bent leg and the one straight leg, kind of proclaiming the ownership to everything that he has destroyed probably beneath him here. Paintwork is done really exceptionally well here. Not a lot of whole lot of color, bright colors. If you're looking for bright colors, you may want to look elsewhere. You're not really going to be getting here with this particular Batman statue. What you are getting, though, is a lot of dark grays, dark, dark silvers and browns, and even like the little shards of metal that are sticking out from the stone has been done kind of in like a metallic, I almost want to say like a copperish gold. It's actually a right, rather light color of gold. The undercarriage or under section of the display stand, as you can see, is rather quite hollow. I don't think anybody is going to be likely displaying their statues like this as well, so we're going to move ahead. We're going to move forward. As, like I said, we've got a really neat stance with this Batman. I want to sort of kind of catch myself saying the Batman who laughs so repeatedly over this review. Based on, obviously, this, on this character, it's going to be so much easier just to say Joker, Joker, Joker. But Batman who laughs is quite the long title for, again, such a cool-looking member of Batman's rogue gallery. He is holding his chains, which, in theory, I guess could have been connected to the Dark Robins, but... Those have gone off, scampered off to do trouble somewhere else. What he is, however, holding, though, is one chain in about the same kind of color as the the garters and metal and rods of metal that are sticking out down below. It's kind of that same similar color. All of which, all of these things that we're discussing from this point on and all the stuff behind us that we don't want to live in the past, but all of those, all these things that we're discussing are made of PVC plastic. So right off the gate, right out of the gate, a statue like this is much more affordable than if you were saying going the route and doing the road down of like polyresin, polystone. Plastic certainly is a lot cheaper, and I'm like, I'm really like the fact that Diamond Select has such distinct. You know, this is the premium end statues that are in poly resin, poly stone. These are the more affordable, yet still quite exquisitely sculpted statues in PVC plastic. Okay, so we talked about the chain, which is wrapped around its one arm. On the other hand, on the other hand, you can see in in Batman in Batman's hand, uh, you can see he's got a card, and on the other side. Quite, quite rather hard to make out, but it looks like a Justice League card. You can see that there's Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, even Green Lantern, and possibly even Hawkman down below. I can see there's also Flash makes up the little card, the playing card that Batman has gripped in between his two fingers with what I might also want to point out to you, pointing being the operative word, is the fact he's got these rather sharp, gnarly looking fingernails sticking out from what almost even looks white, but it's actually, a, when you look really close at it, this neat effect that they've done, where I'm guessing that the primary color that they've used, you can almost see it on the interior of his palm, is more of a flesh tone, and then they very subtly, very lightly added a dusting of white over top of that. really like that effect. It does look like something he would have been painted on himself. Uh, as I said, the rest of the figure or statue is really pretty much dark in color. I'm thinking that this is primarily the main color for like all of the statue. And then they've just kind of brushed over top of it any bit of the paint that wants to fill in some of those areas. So like the boots, for example, have some additional kind of tarnished, kind of rusted brown. Uh, Cape's also got that as well. It's got not quite a cape. It's almost something that even Pinhead himself would be very envious of sort of this symbiote, this Cenobite uh, sort of costume. I like that on the back, it kind of looks like a bat wing stretched out and pointed out in tips. It almost seems to have a, like a life of its own. And as we continue to make our way up the statue, of course, now we got to focus our efforts on this face sculpt of the Batman who laughs. There's something to be said about this particular design of Batman that the moment I saw it first advertised and then being displayed on the covers of some of the comics, it caught my attention immediately. This giant smile on Bruce's lower half. And then above that, he's got this kind of ringlet of spikes covering over his vision. Of course, 
underneath all of that, you would normally have found Batman's cowl. You still see indications of that with the pointed ears sticking out from the top. These, again, a little bit more thinner plastic, so just be careful of that. The high collars and these wretched, stretched around shoulder pads add, again, this kind of goth-like, again, I want to say Cenobite, best describing this as what I usually can relate to is horror comics and horror films. It definitely does feel very much like a Cenobite sort of costume with like even the, the belts that have been strapped across the front of this long sort of trench coat that the Batman Who Laughs uh, carries on his shoulders and drapes down his torso. Paint, uh, again, for what little there is, does quite, it's quite effective. In fact, actually, if you really look at all the statue as a whole, the sum of its parts are actually mostly a darker tone, darker undertones. It's really until you start looking at the hands, for example, the playing card, and of course his face, as you get those extra little pops of color. A very scary looking gruesome smile stretched from ear to ear on Batman's lower face. It does really does look quite good. This would be a statue. For starters, I mean I'm I'm already a big fan of the Batman who laughs. I've always ever since, like I said, his design has made it appearances to the comics. Caught my attention immediately. Seems like everything that's coming out for the Batman who laughs is something I want to immediately grab and add to my collection. This was sort of like my first entry into the Batman Who Laughs from a statue standpoint. Certainly though, based on how well this design translates to statues as a whole, I can't see this being the last one that's gonna be added to my collection. Of all the superheroes whose adventures span across the pages of comics, Batman, I think, would be the safest assumption to make the following statement. He seems to be the one that has the most frequent amount of new rogues added to his gallery. And yet, despite all that, there are many of his rogues that get lost and easily forgotten. But every once in a while, there's a new rogue that's added to the list that catches my attention and immediately makes me want to find out more about the character. Not since the Batman Who Laughs have I ever had this sort of embraced experience where I'm so engaged by this character. The last time this has happened was during the Nightfall miniseries and of course the breaking of the bat by the hands of Bane. Bane is one of those new additions to the rogues gallery that has become just common knowledge. His name can easily be dropped among fanhood and even fans that don't read the comics and people who know, people who don't even know, know who exactly who Bane is just by his name. The Batman Who Laughs may not fall into that same sort of category as a character that you could simply drop his name and people outside the lore of comic reading would be able to immediately recognize, but again, there's something about this character design and his dark backstory that has me absolutely intrigued. Diamond Select has done a fantastic job of capturing exactly what I like so much about but The Batman Who Laughs here in PBC form. And again, the only thing that unfortunately is missed in this part is the fact that he doesn't come included with his Dark Robins. But I'm willing to think that down the road, we will probably get ourselves a larger version of the Batman Who Laughs, also included with the three, the trio, if you will, of psychotic Robins to come along for the ride. If you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, highly recommend it for fans of the Batman Who Laughs. Some good news is that you should be able to find this now at your local comic book store. As I had mentioned frequently, when any of the time comes that I get a chance to have a look at a gallery statue, I will say the same things that I'll say right now. Gallery statues are the best entryway into statue collecting that anyone who's interested in getting into, into collecting statues. This is the way you want to go. Get into collecting the galleries. It's affordable for starters. It's made of a PVC plastic, so it's their way of keeping the cost down. And while I will admit there are some spectacular statues on the market made by statue companies, the price points on some of those can be quite staggering in the market of 500 to $3,000. In fact, actually, there is a version of the Batman who laughs with his Robins that I think is going to be about $2,000, about, about $1,500 to about $2,000. This is such certainly, as you could probably agree, based on that, a much more affordable means to add the Batman who laughs to your collection. Again, if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, the Batman who laughs is currently available on your comic book shelves, not your comic book store, but maybe if you can't find a comic book store in your area, 
You can go to www.comicshoplocator.com. No, I'm not sponsored by comicshoplocator.com. Put in all your information, your postal code, your zip code, or whatever else that identifies your house to somebody else versus somebody else's. Put in that information. You should be able to find a comic book store in your area. And the Batman Who Laughs will be sitting on the shelf. That's not a 100% guarantee, but if it isn't, you can ask the person that works there. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to offer business to you and order it in. So either way, if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, it's out. That's to make a long story short. It's out. If you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other gallery statue reviews, would you believe there's actually a playlist for it? It's almost as if I planned all of this. I did. Yeah, strategized the whole thing myself with these two hands that you can't see behind the camera. Uh, th there is, like I said, a playlist. Also, if you haven't done so already, and you are shy to admit that you haven't hit that subscribe button that's down below this video, but you're digging this guy's stuff, thank you. I'm always hoping for new people to dig my stuff. Hit that little subscribe button down below. More videos will be coming your way. More statue reviews also coming your way, guys. And I will see you next time.